Okay. Latest episode of Survivor Man. Living out of truck. I have remodeled the garage slightly. For those of you who have been paying attention, I moved out of the truck and into my friend's garage. But granted, it's going to be snowing in about. Well, it already has snowed up here, so you know. Nighttime, it gets like. I don't know, the other day it was like 16 degrees. So it's cold enough to freeze to death. But, um. You know, I got. It's all about keeping busy and keeping your mind motivated. That way you can't fall into any depression about your situation. Because that does nothing but hurt you. So. I've got my bed up, elevated up off the ground with pallets. And. I moved it a little closer to the wood stove here. Wood stove's burning. Nice and good. Keep it blazing. It stays nice and warm in here. I'm actually cooking some, well, I'm heating up some water. And uh, I'm going to make myself a little treat here. I'm going to. Uh, have some of this <laughs> again just to keep your mind off of the fact that well you're living in somebody's basement or garage I mean yeah it's nice and nippy outside I mean when you go out here it's just just colder than shit but it's better than Sleeping inside this beast. Well, you can't really see it, but it's a TV. But the garage ain't bad. I don't mind it. There's this ice shack. Well, you probably can't see that, but this is the ice shanty. We're going to be going ice fishing soon. That tells you how cold it is. Water's all starting to freeze over. Got my new snow boots on. Bought those suckers. So, went out today and got a lot of wood. After working my ass off all day, I was whooped. I was real sick this weekend. And uh, you got your tinder. You got your wetter wood back there behind the fireplace. I'm letting dry. Also, some other stuff under it that I'm letting dry. And then you got your tinder. You got your, you know, pallets and crap like that. And then you got your regular wood. I use this for the middle of the night. Um, this one might be a railroad tie. I might not be burning that one. But, uh, actually, I'll just get it out of there right now. I can burn it when I'm not in here. Keep it warm, but these are the woods that I'm talking about. Burning in the middle of the night while I'm asleep. I split them up. And, uh... So you got your tinder, your overnight logs, and your hot motherfuckers, basically. I don't like these ones. Jason was helping me earlier, and he, these ones with paint on them. I, got, I had one in there a minute ago burning, and it stunk. It stunk horribly. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. kind of feels homely a little bit. Homey, I guess you, should, you could say. Um. Like I said, it's it's been pretty cold. Last night I woke up just freezing in here. I mean, it must have been 20 degrees in this freaking. No, actually, I got a thermometer and it was uh, it was 47 about right now. Can keep a non-insulated garage you know it's just there's this there's the roof you know there's the walls there's no insulation it's like a freaking log cabin with no insulation so if you can keep it 60 it's you're doing pretty good um, when it's 15 degrees outside but you know I make sure I dress for the part got my 
Dickey. I don't know if you can see that. Dickey. Got my Dickey gear. It's basically like car hard. Uh, you got to suit up up here, man. Super, super cold. Last night I still had diarrhea bad all night long. But, uh, seems the more I move around, the less it happens when I relax and I sit down and I chill for a second. That's when I feel sick. When I'm moving, I don't feel as sick. So, anyway, just keeping everybody posted up and, uh, Middle America.